Hello. Today we are going to talk about Tesco Corporation by looking first at the business model of Tesco, followed by impact of the internet towards the industry. We will then mention the opportunities for Tesco. Lastly, the challenge Tesco will face in order to stay strong in the market. Tesco sells a variety of products, which includes fresh vegetables, toiletries, desserts, and also fresh meat available to go. Serving those who are in a range from low to middle income consumers at all ages, and also those who are cost conscious. The company also provides goods and services through the website and the Tesco mobile application on a 24/7 basis. There are three impacts of the internet towards the industry, which includes supply chain management regarding the intercommunications between departments, an online platform where Tesco sets up Tesco.com, and the customer relationship management. The internet creates an impact toward the supermarket supply chain management, which have an impact on logistic part, time to market, how the companies make the business plan, as well as the distribution part, which help company to avoid inventory shortage, along with the procurement. Thus, getting more profit for the company. This not only helps the company to improve their management, but also the company's analysis. The example can be seen how the employee restocks different brands of goods such as Le Parc, Anchor, and Clover. However, this has created a bullwhip effect where each organization has their own point of view, thus leading to a transfer of inaccurate information among one another. Therefore, Tesco should take such a situation into consideration. Moving on to the second impact of the internet towards online platform, as you can see on the Tesco website. Tesco provides a wide range of products where you can choose from fresh food to bakery to food cupboard or even frozen food. If customer click on to one of the category, consumer are able to compare price between one brand to another. Apart from that, consumer can also see which product are under promotion and add any product they want into the basket. As the customer check out. They can choose either to get home delivery or collect the product from the nearest Tesco store. With the online platform, this can reduce the long queue on the cashier counter. With the advancement of the internet, Amazon has created Amazon Go, where customer first scan their Amazon ID to enter the shop, and then grab whatever they need. Everything that customer took from the shops. Will then be automatically recorded into the system until they leave the stores without the need of queuing. The third impact of internet is towards the customer relationship management. Tesco provides club cards to their customer where they can be used on the scan as you shop system, where customers can straight away scan their products without going to the counters. By providing the Tesco club card, Tesco gathers consumer information as they shop in their stores. Tesco then provides discount coupons based on what the customer purchased, followed by delivering them directly to their doorstep. This encourages customers to come back to the store, repeating the whole cycle again. However, Tesco still encounters strong competitors such as Marks and Spencer, Sainsbury, and Lidl, who also have the access to the internet, allowing them to provide different or similar functions compared to Tesco. Now we are going to talk about opportunities for Tesco. First, Tesco should extend the scan as you shop into developing countries in order to obtain the first mover advantage and profitability. Another opportunity would be trying to improve the quality of their grocery app outside the UK, as they receive a bad review from Thai customers. In conclusion, the internet has created a great impact towards the supermarket industry, thus having a few challenges Tesco has to face. The first challenge for Tesco is facing a strong price war among its competitors such as Asda and Lidl, who are able to provide cheaper products compared to Tesco. Another challenge for Tesco is rebuilding their brand recognition, knowing consumers would still prefer to have other well-known brands instead of their own Tesco brand. Lastly, Tesco emphasizes more on collecting customers' information instead of focusing on providing good customer service. Customers sometimes are forced to use a self-checkout service when there are no one available. Such activities can help Tesco build up its business and profitability. That is all for now, and thanks for watching.